These cowboy cookies are gonna make you wanna giddy up. Good morning! It is beautiful out today. I didn't take you along with my morning routine because it's pretty much the same. But the sun is coming up over there and I'm about to head to Pilates to get it in. I'm wearing all pink today, so I've got my pink shirt, my pink sports bra, and just feeling the vibe. So the workout actually starts in 20 minutes. I am putting on my seatbelt here for safety. And, oh, my sister left me a Santa hat. Should I wear that today? Today we're gonna be cooking um, a famous recipe in my family. They're called cowboy cookies. Okay, so several key things. Before I head into the gym, I always have to have my YMCA badge and I always have my yoga mat, which is right here. Let's get in that Pilates, baby. Ooh, look at the sky. All right, it's about 8.50, class starts at nine. Got the Jambo and the YMCA is right over there. Oh, there's nothing like the feeling of this room. I love this room because we've got the woods right over there and the sunlight comes in and these mirrors are just like divine. So again, here we've got the all pink look here. Pinkish purple, I don't know. Hey, is anyone else feeling the new vibes of the Kanye West album? Because that shit is crazy. And to be real, I never really was like a huge Kanye West fan before, but I am vibing on that new record. So I'm gonna crank some Kanye West and head to the food co-op here in Kalamazoo and pick up some oats because we're gonna be baking today. Like I said, we're gonna be baking the cowboy cookies, which is a family recipe of mine. And just as a little preface, my grandmother, she would make us all, um, all the grandkids, a huge gallon-sized bag of these cookies, and we'd put them in the freezer and munch on them for like, I don't know, I guess how long it takes you to eat a bag of cookies, but for me, I would just eat one, you know, here and there, so they would last me like a month or two. So it just depends on how much of a sweet tooth you have, but these cookies can be put in your freezer and stored for a while, and they're actually kind of good cold. So let's make some cowboy cookies, but first I need some quick oats. Fashion oats, baby. So I literally forgot everything. I don't have chocolate chips. I don't have enough butter. I don't have any brown sugar. So now I gotta run out again, real quick. Day. I actually have the door open so I just want to let you know that I've got my kitchen clean for you and it's all prepped I have some of my ingredients over here and I'm about to cook breakfast I actually have a meeting with the owner of Dom Dog Yoga Gym today We're just gonna talk about the new upcoming schedule and changes moving forward and yeah, we're just gonna have a coffee and I'm meeting her at 1230. It's 1140 right now I'm just gonna make myself an egg maybe a little bit of kale and some toast and of course you can't Forget the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. Um, I just wanted to drop in here with a tip when you're baking. Um, number one tip, always begin with, I'm just turning over my toast, always begin with quality ingredients. I'm talking like the best of the best, top notch, try to go organic as much as possible, clean, maybe even pay a few extra dollars if you can because sometimes you have to pay a little bit more. So like I said, I got the Giardelli um, premium baking chips. These are fire, absolute fire. All right guys, I just got back from my meeting with Kristen and I am jazzed up on an Americano. So we're gonna go ahead and begin to cook our cowboy cookies. So like I said, this is a family recipe that my grandmother would make every year. Here's the actual recipe if you wanna go ahead and screenshot this. But I'm also gonna leave the recipe down in the comments below and I'll also leave a timestamp. So if you wanna skip all the other daily nonsense, you can go right to the recipe. 
So let's take a look at our ingredients here. I have them all lined up for you. As I mentioned before, we really wanna go with high quality ingredients when it comes to baking because you want all of your flavors to shine. So I am kicking it with the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. We've got the Ghirardelli Chocolate Chips. And for the most of it, most of my ingredients are organic wherever I can. There are some items that just simply were too expensive, so I just couldn't, you know, stomach the price, if you will. I actually originally bought old-fashioned oats, but actually the recipe traditionally calls for quick rolled oats. The first step in the recipe says to sift the flour, the baking soda, the salt, and the baking powder, and then to set that aside for now. Um, I personally don't really sift my flour, and for anyone who bakes out there, I'm really sorry about that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put the flour right in. How do you guys like my cool little vintage holders that I got at an estate sale? Your oven should be preheated at 350. recipes I've noticed that there's shortening but in this recipe I'm going to substitute the shortening for butter because I'm a butter fan. Beat together the eggs, sugars, and butter until fluffy. So I don't know if you're like me but wow I mean I'm always shocked at how much butter is required in recipes. This entire thing of Kerrygold is going into these cookies. So put it in your pan and get it melted on your stove. Make sure to take the wrapper off. Okay, so the next step, once you have your butter and your sugars and your eggs mixed together, is to add the flour mixture and beat it all together. Last step is we add our rolled oats, um, chocolate bits, and that's it. So let's do it. Mm, look at all this chocolatey goodness, you guys. Ooh. I mean, cookies are kind of weird in that you always think that there's more of the one ingredient than there should be. Like, a whole bag of chocolate chips seems absurd. So, pro tip, if you make extra dough, you can just keep it cooled in the fridge. Okay, so I failed to mention that this recipe actually makes seven to eight dozen depending upon size. Uh, the recipe does say to drop it by the teaspoonful, but I usually kind of eyeball it and make them a little bit bigger. My grandma always made them kind of small. The cook time is about nine minutes or until brown. So just evenly space those cookies out. And again, you can go ahead and refrigerate this for a few days. I wouldn't recommend any longer than three to five days for refrigeration. All right, let's go ahead and get these on the pan and get them in the oven. Up. Of course, we gotta get those cookies in the oven, so I've got my oven preheated to 350. And let's put these fuckers in. But first, a thumbnail. All right guys, so this is what you want them to look like. What I usually do, it's not really that technical, is I'll take my finger and kind of press the top and you want a very soft sponginess, okay? You don't want it to be rock hard or anything like that. So I think these are about 30 seconds shy from being taken out. I always get so nervous taking stuff out of the oven, but I'm very careful. Woo! Those look so good. We're gonna let these puppies cool down and then give them a try. All right guys, the moment of truth. Oh my God. Bro, you gotta make these. And then I want you to write me a handwritten thank you letter. I'll give you my address, so just DM me for my address if you need it. All right guys, thank you again for joining me on day three of Vlogmas, and I'll see you in the next one.